Hi! This is the video number 5 of chapter 1, Perfect Competition. In this video we are going to talk about how to choose the production level in the long run. So just to begin, we see that the, in the equilibrium, as in the short run, we see that in the long run, the point where the firm is going to maximize the profits is where the price, which is given for the firm, the firm is the price taker, the point where it maximizes the profits is the point where the price, which is given, equals to the marginal cost. This is the long marginal, the long term marginal cost, and this is the price. So when these two uh, factors are equal, we will be maximizing the profits. And it happens under quantity two in this diagram. So the long run output of a profit maximizing competitive firm is where the marginal cost equals to the price. So what? By now, this is the same that happens in the short run. But we uh, have more information in the long run. Imagine that we are in this situation where the, in the market, this is the supply curve and this is the demand curve. So the price in equilibrium will be P0 and the quantity exchange in the market will be Q0. Then for my firm, I have this price and I have this marginal cost. So I see that in this point where the price equals to the marginal cost, I find that I have positive benefits. I have positive profits because the average total cost is lower than the price or lower than the average revenue. So I am having positive profits. So what is going to happen? What is going to have it happen is that the positive profits are going to attract other competitors to the market as there are no entry or exit barriers. So more and more and more companies will enter the market. So the uh, supply curve is going to shift to the right in a parallel way and we will have more and more firms in the market uh, providing this product. So what is going to happen is that the price will go down because we have more producers and the quantity offered, the quantity exchange in the market will increase because at this price more consumers will be able to um, to buy the product. It's not this. It doesn't mean that the demand is going to increase. The demand is going to be the same because we have we don't have more consumers in the market. We have the same consumers, but more consumers in this market, a greater number of consumers who wanted to buy the product will be able to do it because the price has decreased. Okay, so if we go to our firm at this price, which is given again, the firm is a price taker at this new price. What happened? That the profits are going to decrease a little bit. So now our new profits are this area, the light brown area. This is the price and I will produce as a firm in this quantity, Q1. Why? Because at these quantities where the price equals to the marginal cost for me. So again, as we are having the same positive profits, more and more and more competitors will enter the market, attracted by this positive profit. Until when? Until the point where uh, there are no more profits. When we have no more profits, then the competitor will uh, stop entering the market. So as the supply increases, the price decreases, and the profits decrease until they are equal to zero. So when they are equal to zero, we will be in equilibrium in the long run. So the entry of new competitors will end up when the firms obtain no profits. But what if the initial situation were one of losses instead of uh, positive profits? What will happen is that some competitors will exit the market instead of entering. Then the industry supply will be restricted. The market price will increase because we will have less firms offering the product and the losses in this sector are going to decrease. This situation will end up when the profits are zero. So let's see it graphically. We are in this initial situation where the, this is the supply, this is the demand in the market, and the price in equilibrium is P0, the quantity is Q0. So what we have is that 
For our firm, at this price, we are having negative profits. Why? Because the average total cost is greater than the price or greater than the um, average revenue. So these are the losses that I'm having, this part polar area. Then these negative profits are going to force out competitors to exit the market as there are no entry or exit barriers. So there will be a new supply curve, which is here. It will shift to the left and then the price will increase because we have less firms offering the product. So the quantity has changed in the market will decrease because at this higher price, less consumers who are in this market will be able to buy this product. Then what happened with my firm? At this point, I will ha be having zero profits. When I'm here, I will be at this point. I will produce Q1 when I have this price, P1. And at this point, I will have zero profits. So what is going to happen when we have negative profits in the long run is that it will force out competitors, they will exit the market until the losses decrease, until the point where the profits are zero. So the S decreases, the sub supply decreases, the price increases until the losses decrease and the profits are zero again. And this is where when we are in equilibrium, when the profits are zero in the long run. And this is different from the short run. So this is the point where we are in equilibrium. So the equilibrium conditions in the long run will be that the price must be equal to the marginal cost and equal to the minimum of the long run average cost because we don't have any variable cost. So the long run average cost will be equal to this point where the price equals to the marginal cost. So the profits there will be zero. If the firms are all, are all identical, they have all of them the same cost curve, the same cost function, then the Q, the capital Q produced in the market will equal to the number of firms, which is N, multiplied by what each company is producing, Q lowercase, where N is the number of firms that will stay in the equilibrium in the long run. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.